So at first I wasn't really sure what to talk about regarding Ace and his lore without like spoiling the stories that will come later, but I figured out a way to kind of break everything down into different aspects of his life and like who he is, and I felt like that would be a lot easier to digest as well. So there's going to be timestamps throughout the video, kind of just detailing each section. All right, so here we go. Ace is a 26 year old goat dragon hybrid. He stands at 7 feet 11 inches tall, like about 2.4 meters, and weighs roughly 300 pounds or like 136 kilograms. He's a pretty tall guy with an average build, probably on the slightly unhealthy side due to his bad diet, which can either be because he never really stepped away from his college habits or just the fact that he's usually low on downtime to cook anything that isn't like a quick meal. He's not exactly flashy with his fashion choices either. You'll catch him wearing either like a zip up sweater, a t-shirt and jeans during the summer, or a parka with basically everything else that I mentioned previously during the winter. He doesn't even wear shoes since he has protection from the pads on his feet. Did, did I make a mistake mentioning his feet? I don't know, whatever. Um, just like in the mod, he is pretty happy-go-lucky and even a bit naive at times, but I feel like in the mod, it's a slight exaggeration to appeal to more people. Like, he still has his normal emotions and isn't as, like, head-empty as the mod suggests. He's actually a pretty smart guy, but doesn't really feel the need to show it because, you know, it, it kind of makes him look show-offy and I don't really feel like he's the type of person that likes doing that. Respect from him is pretty much default, and is gained or lost depending on the person's actions toward him. So like, you know, if you're a jerk, he's going to be a jerk right back to you. If you're really nice to him, he's going to be nice right back to you. It's kind of just like at the base level, he's polite. He gives lots of people the benefit of the doubt, but that tends to backfire on him sometimes because he's just not really great at reading other people. It's honestly not hard to get on his good side. You just don't screw it up. So Ace lives in a third story apartment in a neighborhood called Bushwick in Brooklyn, New York. It's a pretty decently sized apartment that he took over from his mom, who moved away to a different apartment not too far from there. You can actually see his apartment in week one of the FNF mod, and it's actually based on the apartment I lived in during my childhood. The area around isn't really dangerous for like an inner city type of area, at least it isn't nowadays. And there are many nice little shops nearby, like laundromats, corner stores, a Chinese takeout place, a doctor's office, basically within a single block's distance. At the moment, he lives on his own, and he's kind of struggling to make ends meet since rent has been getting more and more expensive. His job pays enough for him to get by, but he worries about how much longer he has until he can't really afford the place anymore. Ace works at his local college as a teaching assistant in the sound and music technology program. He knows how to work audio gear, microphones, and stuff like that since that's what he studied in that same college that he currently works in. Oftentimes he's asked to move equipment and set it up for school events or help tutor students with more hands-on work like, you know, microphone placement, signal flow on the mixer, and basic Pro Tools functions, as much as he despises Pro Tools. Um, <laughs> He gets paid a decent amount to be able to afford the necessities, but he's definitely not a big spender with how expensive New York City is. Sometimes he has to take on extra hours, and then as soon as he comes home, he has to go straight to bed and then wake up the following day to do it all over again. He loves his job, but he definitely needs more time to himself. So Ace has a large extended family, but he only really has contact with Nori, his mom, and his younger brother Jack. He has a father, but it's actually unknown where he is as of now. He disappeared pretty early on in Ace's life and hasn't come back ever since. His mother ended up having to raise the two boys on her own and still worries to this day where her husband is gone. And now we get to the really interesting stuff. Ace suffers from generalized anxiety disorder, and every once in a while he has panic attacks. But those panic attacks can get pretty dangerous for everyone around him. If his anxiety gets too out of control, he actually transforms into isolation, which is a form that he turns into as a defense mechanism. Isolation is his large and bulky form, slow but strong, and can endure a lot, basically like a tank. Which you'd think is very helpful, but unfortunately in this form he can't really control his actions. Isolation runs away, destroying everything in his path. His goal is to just completely evacuate the area. It doesn't matter where he ends up. Oftentimes, you'd find him in Highland Park, hiding away under the bridge until he can calm himself down. While he looks very huggable and soft, he actually hates physical contact and needs people to stay far away from him. And trust me, you don't want to get close to a 10-foot unstable monster. 
If things get worse, armor starts to form made of ice and it starts at his heart. It encases his entire body with an otherworldly kind of ice that has surprising resistance to heat. So, so no, nerds, you can't just grab a flamethrower and kill him. Actually. It's like really difficult to stop him at this stage. Once he finally calms down, either through defeat or through other means, yeah, I just realized that sounds really bad out of context. I mean, I guess that's a possibility. Anyway, um, he returns to his usual form, likely with a need for new clothes, because he ends up without a shirt and with torn up pants. While he already has a beast-like form, which admittedly was added pretty recently, um, he has both the power to manipulate ice and time. In this universe, a lot of beings, people and anthros, I guess, creatures, monsters, whatever they're called, are born with a set of powers passed down from their parents. These powers work much like alleles, where there is a dominant and recessive power coming from both parents. Obviously, the dominant allele always wins, but if both parents have dominant power alleles, the child ends up with both expressed equally, which is called codominance. And this is actually the case for Ace. Each person's power reveals itself at different time. Some can use theirs from childhood, which allows them a lot of time to master it, and some get it pretty later in life. Unfortunately for Ace, his didn't really show up until his mid-twenties, so he has a lot to learn. Oftentimes it gets out of control, and he basically has to wait for it to blow over for things to get back to normal. So this is a pretty brief look at Ace as a person. It was kind of hard to be as vague as possible without being too boring and without like spoiling any future stories. But anyway, uh, this should hopefully make the stories from the future a bit less confusing. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy what's to come. Thanks for listening.